Hey guys, it's David again, and today I'm gonna to show you how to unroot or get completely back to stock your OnePlus 2. Okay, before we begin, this is going to erase everything on your device. We also are assuming that you have a custom recovery installed. Uh, when you rooted your phone, that probably happened, so you probably do. Um, also, this only works for the OnePlus 2, not the OnePlus 1. If you need it for the OnePlus 1, please click the link below here uh, to be taken to my tutorial on how to do that instead. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to download the stock ROM. So you're gonna click on this link here to be taken to OnePlus's forums where someone has listed all of the ROMs. You're gonna click, you're gonna download the full ROM zip file um, and whichever one is the latest version. So here we have Oxygen OS 2.1, that's fine. Click on that, click begin download and save that to your desktop. Okay, we're gonna plug our phone in via USB to our computer. Then we're gonna take the ROM.zip file, leave it as a zip file, do not extract it and pull it over to the root of our device's storage. That means not inside any other folders, just on the storage itself so it's easier for us to find later. When that's done transferring, we're going to unplug the phone. Then we're gonna turn off the phone. Then we're gonna turn it back on by holding down volume down and power at the same time and keep holding it. Then let go of power when you see the OnePlus logo, but keep holding the volume down until we see recovery mode. Then we're going to perform a backup just in case by tapping backup and then swiping to confirm. Okay, then once that's done, we're gonna hit back, back again. And now we're going to hit wipe and then swipe to factory reset, then hit back, hit back again. And now we're gonna tap install, scroll down until we find our one plus two oxygen ROM, tap that and then swipe to confirm. And wait for that to flash. Once that's done, we're gonna tap Reboot, and then System. So you have a choice here. You can either swipe to keep the stock recovery from uh, flashing over your TWRP and keep that, or you can hit Not Disable if you wanna get all the way back to stock, including the recovery. So I'm gonna show you to do that. We're gonna hit Not Disable, and wait for it to reboot. And then when it reboots, you're on the stock ROM. You even have a stock recovery. Now, the only thing you might wanna do after this, and that's up to you, is to relock the bootloader just to make sure that it's all locked back up and everything is literally the way it was when it came out of the box. Again, that's optional though. But let me show you how to do that. First, you're gonna pull down the notification, go to settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll all the way down to build number, keep tapping on it until it tells you your developer, hit back, then tap developer options, turn USB debugging on, hit okay, and then we're gonna plug the phone in via the USB. And then to relock the bootloader, uh, you're gonna to go to wherever ADB is, whether it's on your PC or your Mac, you need to get to that location and we're gonna type some commands just like you did when you unlocked the bootloader, same thing. So here I know that my ADB is inside my C drive, inside ADB, um, and here it is right here, and all the files that I need. So I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard, right click somewhere that's blank, and hit open command window here. Then I'm gonna type ADB reboot bootloader, enter, and wait for the device to reboot. Once it's booted back up into fast boot or bootloader mode, I'm gonna type fast boot OEM lock. And then fast boot OEM device hyphen info. And it'll say unlocked false, tampered false, everything false. That means you're all the way back to stock, the bootloader's relocked, and you're ready to go. And there you go, hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you wanna get more videos on how to get the most out of your devices, please subscribe here to the YouTube channel or check me out on social networks at The Unlocker. And as always, thanks for watching.